Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we're going to learn about a country in Africa called Kenya. And, of course, I'm getting a lot of information from around the world with Kate Mack, right? I look at languages, and this is Zahra Zahra. That's her name. She says, hi, my name is Zahra, and I live in Kenya. So far, 17 languages in Kenya have the whole Bible in their language. 13 have New Testaments, and 10 others have part of the Bible. My language is called Wata. Can you say that? Wata. We don't have any of the Bible translated for us yet. There is a Kenyan organization that's trying to get the Bible translated for more of the languages in Kenya. They want to bring God's word to everyone in our country who doesn't have it yet, like my language. I've heard that around the world, more and more people are working to help translate the Bible in their own language. They're often called mother tongue translators, and they are really helpful since they already know the language and the culture. I've heard some of the Bible in English. I've heard some in Swahili. But it doesn't always make sense to me in those languages. I think that when I grow up, I want to be a translator. Maybe I'll even be able to help translate the Bible for my own people. But if the Bible is already in Wata by the time I'm all grown up, I want to help other languages get the Bible. That way, they'll be able to read it in their own language and not just in a second or a third language they might speak. <clears throat> So I need to show you where Kenya is on our map. And then we'll talk about Kenya. Now Kenya is in Africa. So let's sing our continent song. North America, South America, Europe, Asia and Australia, Africa, Antarctica, these are the continents. Woo! Okay, so in Africa, we have studied Uganda, the Republic of Congo, Chad, Egypt, Ghana, Tanzania, and now Kenya. So Kenya is north of Tanzania, and Kenya, you have to go to the east to get to Kenya from Uganda. Okay? So can you see it there? Let me... I'm going to ask you where... Can you see it now? It's green on your map. There you go. And, ooh, the equator. The equator, which is at zero degrees latitude, runs right through Kenya. The equator does. Now, I want you to outline Kenya on your maps at home. And I want to show you some things about Kenya. There are more than 60 languages in Kenya. Most people speak more than one African language. So they might speak uh, Swahili, they might speak English, they might speak Wata. So there are many, many languages. Um, there are 17 languages just in Kenya. There is the Great Rift Valley. That is in Kenya, and it's 4,000 miles in length, and it's like a tear in the crust of the earth, and it's really long. So I want to show you that. Okay, so let's see if I can get this to come up. There we go. Oops. Let me do it again. Okay, if you can see on here, can you see that? Those things that look like long um, dirt marks, those are, those are actually rifts in the earth or tears in the earth. And they go through Kenya. I want to show you some more, um, some pictures that are from Kenya. Kenya is known for its fast runners who often win medals at the Olympics and track and field events. 
Out of 86 medals that Kenyan athletes have won at the Olympics, 56 of them are in long distance running. So they like to run in Kenya. So if you like to run, visit Kenya. You can run on the plains of Africa. So here we have a rhino because rhinos live in Kenya. Actually, a lot of animals do. There are more than 50 reserves and parks in Kenya that are home to animals such as giraffes, rhinos, elephants, lions, cheetahs, zebras, hippos, and many more. And in Kenya's highland forest live many animals that are found nowhere else in the world. Now, of course, these are giraffes. <clears throat> so I want to show you some pictures that real pictures. All right, there we have some rhinos that are in Kenya. This is a picture of the mountains in Kenya. That I think is pretty. Give you some good idea. Here's a zebra. Come on. There we go. A zebra. This is, I believe, a drive through park in Kenya where you can take pictures of the animals as you drive through because they have lots of parks. Look at the flamingos. Very cool stuff. Kenya is known for, you know, its wildlife, but they have to protect it in these parks. <clears throat> I love this one. Phone doesn't want to work this morning. Look at that. Those are beautiful, beautiful flamingos. This is Lake Nakuru National Park. You see this water buffalo? Hi, gentlemen. Um, I'm trying to teach over here. Hi, kids. Be good. You done? No, I'm not done, son. If I was done, I'd let you know. Say, look, we're, we're going to Captain George's. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I'm trying to show you something I can't even show you. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous waterfall? All right, I think that's enough pictures of beautiful Kenya. I did want to show you the flag of Kenya. So the flag is um, black, red, and green, and then has white stripes, and then this is red with like a white, it almost looks like a propeller. I want to show it to you from the book. Get a much better picture there. You see that? That is the flag of Kenya. It's beautiful, very colorful. In Kenya, Wata is spoken in four different locations by over 12,000 people. So that's a lot of people. So they definitely need to get the Bible in their own language so that they can learn about Jesus and, and, and God and all creation. So I thank you. I hope that you have found something that you can um, color in today. And I'm sorry about um, the disruptance for my children. Yes, thank you. Good. You guys have a great day.